Hello and welcome once again to the cornucopia of delights. That is the voice. Louder. Yeah, thanks for that. Here's what's coming up today. It's the final week of the blind auditions, and as to be expected, the tensions ran high and there were tears of plenty. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. So without further ado, let's get the horses saddled and the reins aloft. Like this? Yeah. Okay. Ricky Wilson kicked things off with a summary of the weather we've been having this year. It's coming like a tidal wave, baby. Yep, pretty much sums it up. Next on BBC One, Strictly Coaches Dancing. Ambulance controller Tom Barnwell pulled a first and got the coaches up out of their chairs. Lovely moves there for Mr. I Am. And Kylie and Ricky are up too. Ooh, careful of Kylie's spine there, Ricky. And the winner is Tom Jones for keeping his dignity and not getting involved. It's a bad week for puns on this episode of Louder, or a good week if you like them. Kylie kicked off the bad puns with this little chestnut. Someone's going to have to take over control. Because he's an ambulance controller. Ooh, tough crowd. Is there something burning in here, Marv? Is that fire I smell? Nope, it's burning question time. What you got for us, Tom Barnwell? From Tom to Sir Tom Jones, I have a question for you. Now, Will calls you the silver bear. If Will was an animal, what would he be? Oh, Will would be a fox. And why? Because Will is foxy. Freaking hot. Smooth talking bed salesman Johnny tried his charms on Kylie. Kylie, do you mean being up all night? Easy, tiger. Can't blame the man for trying though, I suppose. A Jane Fraser's a saleswoman, and she's certainly selling her hometown to us. Did it put anything in the mouth in Blackpool? Bomb aid Roxanne Yarnold is hoping to call time, gentlemen, on her day job and pull the coaches in her direction. Oh, the puns. I'm sorry about the timing of that. Music teacher Gary Paul got very stern with Kylie. Yeah. You didn't turn there. I didn't because I, I have someone that is in the same ah. kind of area as I you. I hope that's true, Kylie. But yeah. it is true. <laughs> yes, Kylie, I hope it's true. See me after. Here at The Voice Louder, we like to take a look at the artist's hidden talents. Step up, Gary Paul. Check this out. <laughs> This week was chock full of teachers. Here's another one, Kenny Thompson. He must be half term. Kenny also has a very unusual stomach complaint. My gut saying, Tom. You want to get that scene to, Kenny? That can't be right. Looking like how he does, Jamie Lovett was surely going to play some skiffle, but then, surprisingly, he didn't. I never saw that coming. Ricky was doing so well with his pitch until this moment. Got people to tell you, you definitely shouldn't be wearing those trousers. <laughs> Bit rude. And, uh... <laughs> Roxanne, you don't need to put on a and this week's winner of the coolest comeback goes to Pete Davies. You look familiar to me. I think I'd remember if we'd have met. <laughs> you may not have got a turn, Pete, but you win this certificate and badge. With the other coaches' teams now full, it was once again left to Will to complete his team. And boy, did he make us and the other coaches wait. Calm down, Tom. It will soon be over. Just press the button, Will. Press the button, Will. Will, come on, just press the button. Ricky even attempted transmitting messages into Will's brain. And finally, Will completed his team with Sherry Prince and everyone could go home. Yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Well, that's me finished. I'm off. Let's take a look at this week's What Do You Mean? We ask you to caption this picture here. And here's our favourite. Launching Will into orbit. Three, two, one. Thanks, Rebecca Robinson, for that. Keep your eyes peeled for more What Do You Memes next week on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. As it's the last episode of the Blind Auditions, we thought we'd treat you to a compilation of the funniest outtakes from the show so far. Enjoy. Hi, how's it going? Hello. What? One, two, three, four. and his twinkle. That's his eye twinkle, not his twinkle. Squats? We can do squats together. Watch out, you want to drop now. Thank you. I think they're waving at you. That's it from us for this week, but next week we'll have lots more of this. The going gets tough and the tough get going on next week's episode of The Voice. Let the battles commence. So I hope you're going to be joining us from the comfort of your own home. Slash bar, slash school, slash work, slash park. For all of the news stories and the serious journalism from us here at The Voice. Louder. And you look at the kid and be like, that's an ugly baby.